Hello everyone and thanks for joining me today. My name is Twinkly Frog and today is episode number one of an exciting new Let's Play modded Minecraft. The mod that we're using is Terra Firma Craft. This is described as a survival intensive mod. Um, I do know some things from playing around with it off camera that resources are paramount and so is hunger. You will starve to death fast. Food is hard to come by, it's hard to grow. Um, and not only food, but you need water. If you notice down there right below my feet and right beside my health, you see a green bar and a blue bar. Green bar is hunger. Blue bar, you guessed it, water. That's right, you have to collect and drink water in this game. Now, to get started, it's not like normal Minecraft. You are not going to punch trees. Let me go ahead and change the view here, and we will actually get started. Let's see, there we go. Already got some rocks on the ground. Now what these rocks are good for is you pick them up and these are how you're going to make your first set of tools in the game. You just kind of right click on them until they pop up. This game is also extremely micro blocky. Um, so stuff, you can actually place like up to four things in one block. You can set them on the ground just kind of place them. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about a little later on in the game. Oh look at that! first ore just a minute into the game now the great thing about that is ores aren't like they are in minecraft you're not going to run down into a cave and find a whole bunch of lead and copper and everything else you are going to have to earn it and that was native copper nuggets now we kind of need to remember this little area and the reason why is because those are kind of like breadcrumbs um, that means that there is most likely copper underground there somewhere so what we want to do is remember this little spawn spot here and we'll have to come back to it later on when it's time to pick up some minerals okay so what we're going to do first off is I'm going to show you guys how to use your napping screen that's K-N-A-P-P-I-N-G napping you get a rock in your hand and you right click here you go now this rock is broken down into sections you can't really see the sections on here but when you click on them they start to disappear now I know from Wikipedia this shape right here is a knife blade. Now if I wanted to make one knife blade, I'd have to get rid of all this right here. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make two because like I said, you want to be very, very resource conscious in this game. So you go to your normal menu like you normally would. You drop one knife blade in along with a stick and BAM! We got ourselves a shank, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Alright, let's go ahead and make two because I know for a fact you need quite this a lot in the game. Now you also want to make sure you're not just right clicking on stuff with the ground with your tools, the stuff that you don't care about, because you will use the durability of your tool. That's right. Ah, Saffrilonite or something like that. See, this is a good little area right here. We're definitely going to have to come back here later on when we're ready to start doing some mining. But that will probably be several episodes into the game. Uh, what we're doing now is we're kind of just walking around and uh, looking for food, because food is, whew, we got to have food. All right, so we're going to start cutting down this stuff here. This is thatch, okay? or straw, I'm sorry, straw. Now with the straw, you take four of them, and of course in your crafting square, and you make a nice little square, and then boom, you can make yourself a block of thatch. Now we're going to cut down a lot of this stuff. You're going to see me walking, looking for food, cutting down thatch, and kind of just talking about how we're going to take this series. Um, we're going to try to go in a direction, basically, I want to be as uh, comment-driven as possible. I want the comments to roll. I want you guys to tell me what you want to see, how you want me to play, what you want me to build, um, and if it's reasonable we will. You know, we'll take care of that. Um, another thing really cool about this mod is leaves in Minecraft. You want to go through them, you got to cut. Not in this one, buddy. They're like real leaves. You could just walk right through. Alright, so let's keep going. We're looking for actually two things. We're looking for fresh water. Now the way you find fresh water is you look for water that has cattails sticking up in it. Um, you have to forgive a little bit of lag here and there. Um, I have to render distance on far, and it seems to be lagging when it's loading in some of the bigger chunks and the more intensive chunks. Um, but hey, you know, we'll work our way through that. A lot of times we'll be spent in the exact same place. Now see this water here? No good. Salt water. Don't want it. Don't need to be near it. It is completely useless. So we're going to keep on keeping on keep looking for uh, fresh water. The reason I'm cutting down this is because uh, most likely we will use this thatch to make our first home. Ha, <laughs> more nuggets. I'm going to kind of stay around this area because there seems to be quite an abundance here. 
All right, this is good. This is actually a berry bush. I right click on it. It's not mature yet, but that's okay because we can take it with us. And when we do figure out where we want to be, we'll drop it on the ground. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave these here. Um, I think I saw, was that water? Please have cattails. You're always looking for water with cattails. Yes, cattails. That means this is fresh water, and I was really liking the look of that area back there. Oh, now see this? You have to be real careful. In this game, gravity, gravity is bad. Watch this. Cave-ins. All that dirt just fell. That's right, cave-ins. I will be walking on that, and sometimes you'll hear a crunch. Let's see if we can get it to make the noise. Come on. Oh, it's not going to do it for us. Oh, oh, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, it fell in. <laughs> so you have to be real careful because, uh, and listen for that noise. You don't want to try to jump up and down on the ground very much like I was doing. Um, you want to listen for that noise, that creaking, crunching, kind of like uh, gravel dropping on a piece of plastic sound. Um, when you hear that, yeah, you want to definitely get the hell off the ground you're standing on because if not, you will cave in and you will die. I like this area down here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up a whole bunch of thatch and we're going to build us our first little house and unfortunately we're going to build it out of, yes you heard me, we're going to build it out of thatch. Yay thatch house. Yeah I tell you, you know, hopefully nothing comes along and huffs and puffs. Now man, unfortunately that's just one block. I wish it was more than one. Um, that would be great. We could uh, have ourselves a little endless water supply right there. All right, so let's keep doing this for just a minute. Um, and like I was saying, guys, hey, feel free. You know, if you if you like the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, hey, let me know in the comments. You know, tell me, hey, didn't like the video. This is why. You know, I realize I talk a lot. I talk kind of fast. Sometimes that uh, throws people off. Um, but hey, whatever. That's just who I am. You know. So grab some more thatch. I want to go ahead and grab two stacks of it because unfortunately it takes four pieces to make one block. So two stacks of this will actually only give us a half a stack. That's right. Two stacks equals one half a stack, which sucks. So let's go ahead and make ourselves bam, thatch. Okay, and let's kind of let's do this. Let's go one, two, three, four, and five, and then step out. So I want the intern interior to be five by five. One, two, three, four. Uh, and I know this is boring, five by five. It's just a shelter to get us through until we can start developing ourselves just a little bit more. Now, once we're able to develop ourselves just a little bit more and get a little bit more stuff in here, then yeah, we'll make it bigger than that. Absolutely. But for now, our best bet is just to get some sort of makeshift built. Look at that, we're already out. To get some sort of a makeshift place built that can protect us from the night. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the mobs in this game are nasty. They have a lot more hit points than they do in regular Minecraft. And you hit a lot weaker. So the last thing you want to do is have to go up against something. Do not want to have to go up against mods. Oh, see, I don't know if it'll work this way or not. Let's find out. Yes, it did. We did not waste it. Go. Waste it for the win. Can you make two at a time? Yes, you can. That's awesome. Oh, my stick's back. I'm going to need those. We are definitely going to need them stickies. Um, Next thing we'll make is probably an axe head, and we can make an axe. Um. I am not 100% sure how to make that, so I'm going to have to go to the wiki and try to figure that out. Uh, so yeah, that's how that's going to go. Um, looks like all we're really going to have time today to do. I know it's kind of boring, and I'm sorry. Tune in for the next one. I promise you it'll be more exciting. I think the only thing we're really going to have a chance to do is probably make our house. And it's not even going to be a very pretty house either. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off right here. Oh. The great thing about thatches is, unlike a lot of other stuff in this game, you can just punch it, and boom, it pops up. Yep, there you go. Oh, no. Yes, we do not want to get stuck out here, so let's go ahead and give us just a few more blocks. Unfortunately, if any spiders come along, I am so screwed. I mean, we 
really need food. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and murder this pig. I hate to do it because animals are hard to come by, but either that or we die. There we go. We got tons of pork chops. Yes, stuff drops so much in this game. And I think part of the reason it does is because not only is food hard to come by, but hey, your food rots. That's right. Your food rots in this game. Oh, we having a cave in. Cave in, cave in. Oh, look at that. You see it? Ha! <laughs> that is so freaking cool. Man. I heard the sound and I got out of there. I knew it was coming, buddy. Anything? No? Okay. I'm going to move you closer to my house. Come here. Come here. Our beautiful, beautiful house. Now let's go ahead and make a few more of these thatch blocks. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, this is so ugly. That's it. Boom, boom. That's our house for the night. I know. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Call uh, HGTV. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to make this. It is a fire starter. That's right, a fire starter. Now, what we're going to try to do is you right, is it right click? Shift right click? Man, there's a way to put stuff. Maybe you just throw it. I think it didn't last very long. I'm trying to figure out how to make a fire here. That didn't work either. Come here. Oh my god, I'm having a retarded moment. I could have sworn you could just shift click these bad boys onto the ground and make your fire that way, but maybe you have to throw a few of them down. Hmm. Let me go ahead and pause the video right here and I'll be back in a minute as soon as I figure out how to make fire. Alright guys, I'm back and I figured out what I was doing wrong. You have to throw three sticks on the ground one, two, three, and it said make sure they all land in the same spot. Ah, you gotta be shitting me. Give me that. Uh, uh, uh. So basically, you just right click. <laughs> we did it. We have made fire. Fire, fire. We made fire. Yeah, 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 fire, fire. Twerking for the fire, twerking for the fire, twerking for the fire. All right, let's get back in here. So now, with an empty hand, you can right-click on the fire, and boom, we can cook ourselves some meat. Um, you can refuel the fire with anything that's basically flammable, which is now a lie. Uh, let's throw a couple sticks in there. Nope, you can only fuel the fire with a log. And the fire already went out. That's not good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make us an axe and get us a log real quick. This is going to be so dangerous. Okay, the way you make an axe is you go click, 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 bing, bing. Ah, look at that. We're a genius. We have made tools. Tools like men. Men make tools. Uh, got us an axe. You know what? We're going to be scary cat little girls, and we're just going to reach right outside here and chop this tree down right here. And hopefully, we don't die. Fortunately, I'm probably going to have to go outside to get this stuff, which I really don't want to have to do. Come on. Oh my god, these tools are slow. Oh, look at that. Give me. Oh, so scary. So scary. Okay. I don't know which of the stuff I'm going to stuff. Uh, put that in there. Put that there. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's open up the fire. We're lucky. We're, we're lucky. I think I may have to relight it. Yes, that was easy. That worked out good. Okay. So yeah, hey, there we go. Uh, put it in the top slot and it drops down. Okay, we're gonna do that for now. Well, you know what? Let's take one of those out. Oh, look at that. We got co cooked meat, man. Cooked freaking meat. We have accomplished something, guys. We have accomplished. Why can't I eat you? Why can't I eat you? Okay. 
That is weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, but anyway, who cares? It let me eat it. Now, I know it says you have to place your food in a cool, dry place in order to keep it alive and better. So we are going to... Can't do that. We're going to have to, when it's nighttime, we're going to have to go get us some clay. Um, and with that clay, I know for a fact that we can uh, make a, uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's like a pot, basically. We'll make a pot to put uh, to put the meat in, and that will actually keep it from, uh, from rotting quicker. And then from what I understand, if you just dig a hole and stick it in that hole, it lasts even longer. Like dig down two. You know something like that dig down a couple put a block on the top so it won't collapse and then boom what we got what we got it's still cooking it's just warm i think it needs some more fire while wow, this thing yeah did it go out oh you suck bam ha sucker let me fire again wow tell you what i know i noticed the fire will burn for a while depending on what you're making so we got it very hot boom protein again so we're gonna stop right there and I'm actually gonna take that log out of there we're gonna just put a stick in there cuz I think from what I read this right here will make a torch yes it makes two okay, let's go ahead and put another one in now you can only put one thing at a time in these it sucks <laughs> all right yeah there we go now that's helpful it's helpful this will keep mobs from mobs from spawning right on top of us it looks like from that beautiful orange color we got going in the background that the clouds are starting to part the night is starting to fade and daytime oh sweet daytime is coming and on that note i'm going to go ahead and leave you guys there with episode one i appreciate anything you guys can leave in the comment section that'll help us out have a nice day guys bye <laughs>